Hello everybody, Soap here, and today we are playing a new game. Um, I was looking on Steam and I saw this and I thought, why not? It looked cool, I liked the characters. So, yeah. So, I have no idea what this is about. Um, so, this is Bad End Theater. This is the game. So, as you can see on the content warning, it involves blood, gore, violence, and a lot of strong language. So if you are easily triggered by any of the following that is up here, I will give you plenty of time to click off this video and be sure to check out some of my other videos. Be sure to check out my Undertale videos. Um, blood, maybe not for Doki Doki Literature Club, but if you like that, then go right ahead, go over there. But I'm not sure what this game entails, but I thought let's give it a shot. This is not going to look good for YouTube. Uh. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I hope everybody's good, and let's get started. Welcome to Bad End Theater. On this stage, we shall be toying with fate. Oh, you will make many choices, unlocking darker and darker paths, all in order to witness a lovely variety of tragic events. Oh, no. But first, allow me to explain how it works. To begin the tutorial, select whichever doll you like. Hmm. We'll go with, uh, uh, this one. You are the demon doll. You are the human doll. I like the demon, but I also, I'll go with human. You control the human doll. You're a friendly little guy, just minding your own business. How will you interact with the demon doll? Uh, Hostile. Uh, we'll play nice. You try to make demon. You try to make friends with the demon doll, but if it, but it kills you in cold blood. How ruthless! You found your very first bad ending, but don't worry. The story need not end there. Let's reset the stage and try again. First time. Tr this time, try controlling the other doll. Okay, will be the demon doll. You control the demon doll. You're a fierce-looking guy, just minding your own business. How will you interact with the human doll? How about we play nice? You and the human doll are able to set aside your differences and become friends. Why, this isn't a bad ending at all. I shouldn't have written out this possibility. It's just not suited to my theater whatsoever. Now that you know how the story goes, you can set the doll's behavior in advance. As you just saw, these behaviors will automatically be set to what you chose during your last playthrough. But now you can turn each other on. You wait. But now you could turn each one on or off without having to replay from that doll's perspective. Yes, my theater actually doubles as a puzzle game. Well, that's cool. Now try turning the doll's behavior on and off to see the different outcomes. Okay, let's do this one. You control the human doll, you're friendly little guy. How we interact with the human doll. Oh wait, shit, shit. Um, back. Okay, so I can go back. Uh, human doll will attack. Let's be, let's be wicked. Okay. You're a friendly little guy. Okay. How about attack? <laughs> you both attack each other at once and die together. End tutorial. Oh. Uh, let's reset the stage real quick. Change that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um, let's... Okay. Let's play nice. Okay. Alright, I'm done. Do you understand how to play? Uh, yeah, I get it. This game saves your progress automatically, so just relax and collect all the bad endings at your own pace. Now, without further ado, let's start the show. You are- <gasps> Oh, these are so cute! Oh, I got an achievement unlocked. Nice. Oh, that's so cute! Hero, Maiden, Underling, Overlord. <gasps> Oh my god, this used- okay. Funny enough, this used to be my, uh, this hair on the hero used to be my haircut. In my freshman year of high school, I shaved my, uh, head on one side. I was very much, um, I very much looked like a lesbian. Um, and I actually leaned a lot towards girls. I am bisexual, by the way. Um, but now, I was still leaning towards girls, but then I met my boyfriend. So, fuck me, I guess. Um. <laughs> okay. Maiden. What is this? 
You are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord's castle. You are told that you are fated to be captured by the overlord one day because you are a beautiful young girl. Demon overlords apparently love capturing those. You think of how you haven't heard of that actually happening to anyone, but maybe the demons just haven't been given an opportunity? Who knows? You are in church. Oh. You pray to your god asking why you have been born into this role of maiden. You respect the divine plan and all, but you're really just curious as to what the point of it is. You are impatient. <laughs> Meaning a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you understand. Maybe you'd understand your role better if you were to just hurry up and get captured already. You left a note and venture forth to find a demon, just to, you know, see what happens. Not long until your little adventure, a demon underling appears before you. It looks pretty scary. Hmm. Uh, introduce myself. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? What the shit? The demon suddenly jumps you and starts biting a lot. How painful. The plan, this plan of yours was completely stupid. You think, why couldn't you have been more patient? Why did you go looking for trouble? You weren't angry or anything, of course. This was all your fault for trusting the demon not to devour you on sight. This is your punishment for questioning fate, you guess. Bit by bit, you are swallowed by the demon until you are no more. What the fuck? Oh, these are different endings. Oh shit, okay. Uh, reset the stage, I guess. Um, let's try again. Let's do this again. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. I am a fucking maiden and I pray because I want to be captured by a fucking demon. Shout for a hero. You yell, but a hero d does not come. Oh, for fuck's sake. So I, w I just got... Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay. Let's go for... Um, don't- doesn't scream at the sight of the underling. Oh, I can adjust the- Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so there, there was no effect. Fuck me, I guess. Okay. Um, let's be the hero. Oh, this is cute. You are the hero. You like to think of yourself as a pretty reliable and swell guy. Your life has been rather ordinary, aside from the occasional heroic adventures fighting evil monsters and whatnot. You are told a maiden from your village has been kidnapped, and is likely being held captive at the nearby demon overlord's castle. Who even puts a village right next to where an entire demon army hangs out? You don't get it. You're happy to protect the townspeople, though. You were born to play this role. You head off on your adventure to rescue the maiden. The demon soldiers block your path. You could kill them to gain experience. I could flee like a coward. I want to flee like a coward. Forgetting your pride, you escape with your life. If you can't return home, your reputation will be ruined. You wonder how you'll ever be able to rescue that maiden on your own if you can't even fight some of your lousy demon underlings. You take your chances at the castle. You're here after all. This is your job. After a long trek, you make it to the castle's front gates. You are faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the overlord. Um, <laughs> please let me in. Please. Uh, cut through. You gather your courage. This is what must be done in order to rescue the maiden. These are all evil demons anyway. This world is much safer with them gone. That's what you tell yourself while you kill one after another on your way to the overlord's chambers. The overlord appears, demanding to know what the hell you're doing murdering all her soldiers. You get straight to the point and ask her where the maiden is. She feigns ignorance. A convincing act, but you won't be fooled. If, if the maiden isn't here, then what happened to her? You can only see only one answer. The Overlord definitely captured her. In fact, it's possible she's already been devoured. What a pussy. <laughs> Think about that poor maiden's fate fills you with hatred. You fight the Overlord with everything you've got. You become strong from the hordes of demons you took down before this final battle. The Overlord is almost no match for you. You cut her to pieces, the Overlord has fallen. Oh, the music changed. Shit. You breathe a sigh of relief, but your job is not yet finished. 
You search the castle. Unfortunately, you find no sign of the maiden within its walls. So you just kill them for n you start capping them for no fucking reason. It's just as you suspected. She must have already been devoured. You feel hollow. A great evil has been banished from this world. But what does that matter if you were too weak to save someone? You stand alone amidst the courage and ponder what it means to be a hero. You return to the overlord's remains and wrap her head in your cane. Oh shit. Oh, so she was dead. Oh, fuck. So it was her head? To bring back to the village. Surely your great victory will be celebrated. Failed hero to end. Oh, so he was a failed hero. Alright, we're very setting the stage. Uh, let's go this. You're the hero. You like think yourself- Okay, whatever. Okay, let's- Instead, let's not flee like a coward. Let's bravely slaughter the evil creatures. You make quick work of the vile creatures who stood in your way. You feel much stronger now. After a long trek, you make it to the castle's front gates. You are faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the overlord. Uh, do we let him- <laughs> You attempt to <laughs> explain why you've come, but the monster before you is eyeing you with suspicion. They can't help but notice the demon blood from earlier you haven't had the chance to wash off yet. Whoops. You have no choice but to fight the army in self-defense. Oh well, more experience points for you. You make your way through the- okay. Overlord appears. You get straight to the point. Hmm. Okay. Is this another f uh, no match for you? Okay, so she was- Oh shit, so- Surely a great victory will be celebrated. Okay, so that's another field. Okay, let's go again. Okay, anyway. So the maid was fucking captured like a fucking idiot. Um, bravely slaughter. Make quick work of the vile creatures. You feel much stronger. Blah, 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 blah. Cut through the demon army. So she was... What does it matter if you're too weak to save someone? You stand alone amidst the carnage and ponder what it means to be the hero so she so she was a failed hero regardless oh fuck me dude all right let's be an underling you are a demon underling in the service of in service of the overlord you aren't particularly strong but not particularly weak either that's what your friends tell you your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away it's unbearably boring <laughs> oh my god. Heroes rarely come all the way here to challenge the overlord anyway. It's a lot of standing in one place, staring into nothing. You feel like you're gonna go crazy if you don't get a break. You decide to ask the overlord for a day off. And she gives you an earful about responsibility and unquestioning. Unquestioning obedience. You wait for her to finish her lecture before returning to your past. A uh, post. <laughs> What does she know about anything? Who made her the boss of everyone? You complain about the overlord to your friends. Queen shit. That's all it is. It's queen shit. <laughs> I like how they look so tired and they're like, oh my fucking god, shut the fuck up. He's like, guys, just- <laughs> They agree that she's kind of a snob until they deserves to be kicked off her throat. Okay, so they're in favor. They're like, yeah, whatever. But you you only wanted to vent your frustrations, but the conversation somehow turned into the assassination plot. Oh no. Oh. His bitching turned to two. <laughs> you should probably steer this in the re steer this in a reasonable direction. Oh. Um. I think we're gonna go with the because I'm assuming this will end really fast. You tell your friends you were totally not serious about this whole thing. You're actually cool with the status quo. After all, life must be pretty dang good if the only thing you have to complain about is that you live so comfortably. There's nothing to do. The other's not, but you don't seem convinced. You say a couple the out would be more effort than it's worth. But you're still gonna be a rebel and sneak out of the castle. Your friend prays your mischievous ways. <laughs> oh, oh! The change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass, wild and free. As you make your way along to the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She greets you and she says she has a favor to ask. You consider your options. Okay, we're not gonna gobble her up because that's what happened with the fucking maid. Or the maid ending. You're in a good mood today. Oh, 
and are rather curious about what the maiden has to say. Humans don't usually talk to you, so this is kind of exciting. You haven't guessed it would even be possible to understand to each other before now. It's like Undertale, like uh, monsters and humans. Unity. The maiden is going on and on about some kind of destiny she's trying to fulfill. The bottom line, from what you gather, is that she wants you to take her to the Overlord. <laughs> take me through your lead. Sounds like it could be interesting. Besides, you have nothing better to do. Satisfied with your day out, you take the maiden back to the castle and present her to the Overlord. <laughs> the Overlord asks where you found this maiden, maiden, knowing full well that you left the castle when you weren't supposed to. You apologize for disobeying her, but hope that the maiden is an interesting enough present that you may be forgiven. The Overlord nods and says, Everything is cool as long as you always listen to her from now on. You're impressed with what an easygoing boss she is. You mention how she how you can't believe you when your friends even considered overthrowing her. <laughs> oh no. She gives you a look and say and you say, That was a joke, of, of course. She smiles and dismisses you. You decide it's about time for a nap. After a few hours of sleep, you're rudely awakened by the sounds of battle. You emerge from your room to find that the hero has slept. <gasps> has slept many of your friends or work associates. What a jerk. Oh, wow. Oh, so that's it. That, okay. Um. What is, who does this guy think he is? Coming in here and killing everyone like some maniac? What did we ever do to him? You lunge at him while he's busy driving his sword into the guard who sometimes brought you food whenever they notice you were feeling kind of down. You like that guard. You wish with all your demon heart for this hero to suffer for his deeds. You bite into him, tearing flesh from bone. It tastes like iron. The hero struggles. You feel his sword go through you. But there is no pain. Only retribution. More of your comrades pile onto him as your consciousness fades. Your hero has overtaken your army as one. You've earned your rest. Victoria's underling and Oh shit, okay. So, let's go with... So if it's dutiful, Solar's of the Demons. How about we go, so, disloyal. Okay. Okay, so, we can be, okay, so we can be dutiful. Maiden. Okay. How about we not be dutiful? And then we'll go play as Maiden. Okay. So now we are back and we are going to be introducing ourselves. Consider we put the disloyal option. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. You tell him that you were thinking maybe you can understand your role better if you were to hurry up and get taken away by a demon already. The demon doesn't seem to have really been like, oh, oh, what a cutie, to you, which is a little irritating. They agree to take you to the master nonetheless. After a long walk to the castle, you are introduced to the overlord. <laughs> she lectures the bitch boy, who was apparently told not to leave their post. You wonder what cruel punishment awaits them. But, to your surprise, she lets them off easy. The underling is this mess, and the overlord turns to you, looking very interested. You explain what you've come, why you've come, and she squints at you. She tur it turns out she never had any plans to capture maidens or to do anything else that would agitate the humans. You wonder for a moment if she might be lying, but it doesn't really seem like it. Still, this doesn't make any sense to you. You've always been told that demons would one day seek you out, and something awful would happen. Then a hero would come to your rescue. You don't want to believe that you've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden-like enough. You ask the Overlord what you should do to be a more suitable maiden, but she doesn't seem to understand. Okay. Just stop. Oh, shit. Just go home and stop worrying about destiny so much. She makes it sound so simple. This Overlord seems like the complete opposite of you. You want to learn more about her and how she thinks. You insist on staying to talk with her more. That is absolutely adorable and I love it. I love the design and I, ca I love like the, um, the pixelated art. I absolutely adore it and that is something I always love. The Overlord tells you again that you should get lost. How rude. You just got- <laughs> she She's like, please accommodate to me. Obey her. What if I refuse to leave? Um. Ah, uh, shit. 
Okay. How about... Oh, I can save. I just realized I can save. Okay. Okay, well, I didn't realize I could just... Because I didn't... I forgot that it was a save function, so I just skipped through everything for no reason. Uh, obey her. You don't want to cause any trouble, so you figure it's time to go home. <laughs> Along the way, you encounter a hero. He asked what you were doing. You don't know the Overlord's castle is like... Don't you know the Overlord's castle is like right there? You explain everything that happened. The hero seems to think you're lying to him. He asks if you've been brainwashed by the demons. What fucking nerve! You are very upset that this so-called hero would treat you this way and leave in a huff. Oh, you return to the village alone. Everyone was very worried about you. They surround you with a thousand questions and you tell them their story. Your story. As you explain that the Overlord never had any intentions to harm anyone here, you notice the looks of uncertainty in the crowd. People are whispering things to each other while you speak to them. Oh, the music just changed. Oh, wow. You are loudly interrupted by an older man. He rudely calls you a demon sympathizer. The crowd is growing unruly. You don't understand. You've only told them the truth. Do they not believe you? Everyone begins speculating what must have actually happened. They weave elaborate lies and ask you to prove your innocence. How could you return without the aid of a hero, they ask. You could not have possibly escaped the Overlord on your own without harm. You must be conspiring with the demons, trying to trick everyone into believing they aren't the horrible creatures we know them to be, so they say. Me, 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 me. Oh, oh. Have the people of your village always been this blinded by their fears and hatred of things they never cared to know? God damn. You wonder how you missed that before. You are seized by the crowd and voices from all sides are calling for public execution. What? What the fuck? You are to be burned at the stake. You don't want to die. You wonder, w would it have been better to hide the truth? You don't like the thought of that. You've always lived honestly. So why has this happened? Why are you being punished? You are here. You hear the dissenting voices of your family and neighbors, but they, like you, are powerless against the momentum. Oh my god. They can only watch as you burn, and you can only cry for them. You are so, so sorry. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the shit? Okay, let's go my- let's go back- to oh wait, can I go- Okay, never mind, just go- oh. Save. Okay. No. No. Can I go back? Oh, load. Let's refuse to leave. You put your foot down and tell her you're not going anywhere. You still want to fulfill your destiny, even if you have to make it happen on your own. She's a little frustrated at your stubbornness, but doesn't kick you out or anything. Hooray! The Overlord shares many, many stories about demons with you, and little by little you realize they might not be the ruthless monsters you were raised to believe. Oh, she's so cute. As it turns out, she commanded her demons to avoid towns and villages. She didn't want to risk giving the humans any excuse to send a hero out after them. You realize that must be why you never heard of any demons attacking your town. You express your gratitude to the Overlord on behalf of your village. She says you can thank her by telling the humans to stop raising heroes. She's tired of her servants getting killed off by them. You've always thought demons were violent and unreasonable creatures, but it seems the Overlord could say the same for humans. That's true. <laughs> they're misunderstood. You may be different, but really they're just trying to live their lives the same as you. You feel like you're starting to understand things a lot better. But maybe everything I said was to deceive you and the other humans. What would you do if I turned out to be super evil all along? Even if she were to capture you now, <laughs> she's like, please fucking do it. You think this place is far more interesting than the way things are back home. You kind of like not being told to expect demons to come after you all the time. You feel free. Honestly, you've always kept to yourself, but spending time with this overlord has been very nice. You feel butterflies in your stomach. <gasps> gay! 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 Yes! <laughs> Yes! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck did I just do? He's like, I walked in. Did I interrupt something? As you think that, a hero enters the room. You surprise the team at first until you realize he must have been sent to retrieve you. 
Confused, the hero asks you what's going on. You explain the situation by assuring them that you were never in any danger. The hero expresses his belief that this whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. You apologize for causing trouble, but really didn't anyone read the note you left? Jeez. The hero asks if you'll return to the village with him to give everyone the news of your safety. The, over the overlord allows the two of you to leave, and you give her a little wave as you exit the room. You'll be back soon. Near the castle's entrance, you spy a group of sus suspicious demons congregating. Oh no. <gasps> no! Oh, that's a disloyal route. Fuck. They're talking about assassinating the overlord. You have to warn her. But the hero shakes his head. He says that this is the true nature of demons. The world is better off with less of them. No! No! This isn't right, you think. What kind of hero passes up the chances to save a life? The human, the demons have taken notice of you. It's now or never. You take off into the castle and the unreliable hero follows shortly after. You burst into the overlord's room, all your words spilling out at once. You should probably slow down, but there's no time. The overlord seems to have followed your frantic explanation, but clearly doesn't understand the urgency of the situation. The underlying you recognize from before barges in. The underling, calling you a liar. You're surprised that they were a part of this evil plot. They seem so nice. The other demons came in right after them, saying the whole thing was the f first underling's idea. Oh shit, is he gonna get executed? Everyone's shouting at each other now. It's really stressing you out. You are relieved and the overlord demands silence. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. She threatens them with violence and you think she is very overlord-like in this moment. Oh my god, she's so... She's so fucking hot! <laughs> The group of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door, leaving the little one behind. You watch as it pounds on the door in distress. Oh no. Have they locked you all in? You have a bad feeling about this. <gasps> no. No way, are you being burned alive? And thinking that must have jinxed it. Oh wait, let's, wait, can I go back? Was there anything? Okay, so he was being burned alive. Oh shit, my bad. Okay. And thinking it must be decent because now the room is engulfed in flames. If only you had ignored these demons before, you and the hero wouldn't have stumbled into the situation. If you had just pretended not to hear them, if you left as you were told, only the Overlord would have been killed. But you couldn't have done that. That path isn't an option for you. I haven't even unlocked the fucking Overlord's path yet. You think that no matter what, you'll always strive for the path. The path. You'll always strive for the path where everyone survives. It must exist. It simply must. The Overlord seizes her underling. They beg for their life. You pray. You don't know what else to do, so you just pray. The Overlord at the claws pierce through the underling's chest. They scream in awful. Sc oh my God. Okay, I didn't know their pronouns were they them. My apologies. Jesus fucking Christ. She digs and twists her claws into the poor thing while you continue to pray. But there's no saving any of you now. You, the overlord, the hero, and the underling's corpse are consumed by flames. Oh, fuck me. Devout maiden end. Fuck me, dude. God. Okay, so obedient. Let's go dutiful and no, let's go this and then let's let's be the maiden. Actually, no. Um, there are so many fucking options to go from. This is so crazy. Okay, so I want to take note of it because I don't want to repeat the same fucking things. Um, how long are we running? Yeah, we got plenty of time. The fuck? Okay, let's be... Um, I don't want to be hungry. Um, let's try the Overlord's Path. Oh, you are the Overlord. You live in the castle surrounded by your demon servants. It's a pretty cushy life, you'd think. Except for those pesky humans who keep killing members of your army. There's even a role called the Hero whose whole purpose in life is just to dethrone you. What's their deal anyway? You've actively avoided pissing off the humans in hopes they'll leave you and your army alone, but they never do. 
you're still new to the whole overlord thing. If you're being quite honest with yourself, you don't really understand the politics of it. <laughs> but you remind yourself everyone is just doing their best to fulfill their roles. You won't let them bait you into being the evil overlord they expect. You think you're pretty cool and mature to hold yourself to the higher standard like that. One of your underlings walks into your room, totally interrupting your thoughts about how awesome you are. <laughs> They're saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding the castle all the time, especially since no one ever comes here anyway. You see their point, but the way they're whining about it kind of bothers you. What to do with this fucking bitch? Tell them to get back to work, grant them a day off. And let's grant them with a day off. You tell them to go take a break from their stifling castle atmosphere and refresh the dark soul. A day off should be fine every once in a while. I should- actually, hold on. Let's- I wanna- wait, can I save? Yeah. Okay, return. Okay. Hey, thank you and happily sc scurry off to do who knows what. You have nothing better to do anyway, so you decide to nap for a little while. Being the overlord sure is great. You wake to a knock on your door. The underling from earlier brought back some company. Oh, it's a maiden from a nearby human village. She says her role is to be captured by you. The maiden then goes on to say that she's been getting very impatient thinking about her impending capture, so she's come here to speed things along. <laughs> what the fuck? You appreciate her honesty, but regret to inform her you never had any plans to capture any humans. She seems very disappointed by this. Oh. Perhaps I'm not performing my role well. Ah, oh, fuck me. Perhaps I'm not performing my role, my role well enough. How can I become more maiden-like? You don't really understand the question. You think this role puts way too much focus on destiny and junk? Just go. Just go home and stop worrying about it. You tell her. The maiden seems to be having a hard time wrapping her head around this. She insists that she s stay and talk to you more. You feel warm inside as she looks into your- <gasps> More gay. More gay. Uh, this is the first time a human has looked at you without contempt. You wonder what to say. Um... I'm gonna save this one too. Um... Let's let her stay. You can't bring yourself to send this maiden away. She just got here. You enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing stories about your kind. She expresses her surprise that demons are not at all what she expected them to be. You are glad that she seems to have an open mind about these kinds of things. You also bring up about how you always instruct your army to avoid humans. Not, it's not to agitate them and get Hira sent out after you. That explains why the people in my village have been left unharmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? We are very grateful. You're surprised to hear a thank you. <gasps> She's blushing. She's blushing. She got butterflies. You've always wondered if humans to be violent and unreasonable. That's why your servants are always getting killed despite your efforts to leave them alone. But this maiden is different. You joke that you may be, <laughs> that maybe you've been lying to her this the whole time and that you were actually super evil all along. The maiden laughs at that, saying she wouldn't mind being held captive here. The people in her village are a li little exhausting that- oh. I'll just say it. The people in my village are a little exhausting at all- at times, she says. You can't tell if she's into you or not- <gasps> ah! Ah, my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's really fucking cute! I'm gonna go punch the air now. You're interrupted- <laughs> Find another human in your doorway. Oh, the music- damn it! This time it's the hero. He was apparently searching for the maiden who was rumored to have been captured by your kind. Captured? Not at all. I only wanted to meet with the overlord. Didn't anyone read the note I left behind? Man, you guys are fucking blind as shit. After everything is explained, the hero expresses his relief that this whole misunderstanding hadn't led to any horrible consequences. The maiden apologizes for causing trouble. And the hero asks her to return the village to the village with them with him. Confusing feelings well up inside your heart. You're surprised that you had one of those to begin with. Oh, oh, I love the blushies. Oh my god. You don't want the hero to take this maiden away from you. Oh. <gasps> 
Um, that means death? Let's let them go real quick. You're certain I shall return to spend more time with you. You just have to trust on that, you decide. With the hero maiden gone, you plop down into the comfort of your luxurious overlord bed. Your room feels so empty now. Is this loneliness? You hope your new friend will be back soon. You close your eyes for a while. I hope to be more than a friend with them, but you know. Until your door slams shut. Before you know it, everything around you is being engulfed by flames. What's going on? You try to escape, but something's blocking the door. You're having trouble forcing it open. What is this? Someone didn't want you getting out. Are you being usurped? They have a zero foresight. What castle will they roll from if this one burns? You don't want to believe that your underlings have betrayed you. But this is no accident, those ungrateful bastards. You choke on the thick black smoke from the fire. You can't believe you're being done in by a bunch of cowards. You see, you'll see them in hell. Burn Overlord End. Jesus. Reset the stage. Let's go back to the fucking... Oh, so that's six out of four. That's six out of four. Okay. Um... Okay, it goes home when the Overlord tells her to. Doesn't give him to say the Vendorling. Eats the maiden immediately. <laughs> Dutiful. Slaughters all the demons. Um... Menu. Let's go to load. Yes. Let's keep her here. The maiden, the maiden came here to be captured by you, didn't she? You'll grant her wish. You tell the hero you won't let him take her home. The maiden assures you she'll be back, but you don't budge. The hero is cautious now. Oh, wow. If you won't let her go, maybe you demons are evil after all. And if you are, I'll be forced to vanqu ah, vanquish you. You have no choice. You destroy the hero before you can steal your maiden away. Yandere. Yandere. Gay yandere. <laughs> She's frightened. You don't understand why. Didn't she, say, didn't she say she prefers this place to her village? Now she doesn't have to leave. You take a step toward the maiden and she backs herself into a corner. You don't understand. She wanted to stay here with you. The hero was trying to get in the way of that. You had to kill him. You'll be sure to keep this maiden very safe from now on. Selfish Overlord NB. Oh, that's a NB. Oh, fuck. Um. Okay, let's go obedient. And let's go back to the... Um. Um, let's see. No, because... Um trying to think of what to do. Shit. Um. What if we go theoretically? What is the bad end? Total endings. Hero 1 of 11. Underling 1 of 9. Overlord 2 of 10. Maiden 3 of 11. Okay, so there's... Okay. We'll go... Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. If hero slays the over... Oh, shit. Okay, so that's a bad end. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of different endings. I'll just for what he's done. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's a <gasps> Did I already get the bad end? Oh, shit. Okay, so... Let's go with Dutiful Polite. And let's go back to the... Hero side, I guess. Okay, skip. Okay, let's do this real quick. Um, uh, save this super quickly, I guess. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, that. You tend to explain why you come with the mass, uh, monster before he's eyeing you with suspicion. Oh, shit. That's right. That's why. Right. Um, back, back. Okay. Um,. Okay, blah blah blah. Oh shit. Okay. But for some reason, you. Oh wait. Fuck me, dude. You find the main being held captive by the Overlord just as you suspected. But for some reason, you can't sense anything sinister happening. Happening. You look at each other in surprise and confusion. This is no time to hesitate. Uh. Actually, 
Uh, can I undo that? Okay, I'm not gonna undo that. Anyway. Uh, ask the maiden what's going on. She explains that she came here on her own and was never in any danger. She hesitantly asks why you're not, why you're covered in blood. You don't know how to respond. The overlord moves past you and out the door to see her army in lifeless bloody piles. She's wailing. It's horrible. This is your chance, hero. Wow. Fuck. Yeah. Um. You hope she'll let. You hope she'll let this whole thing slide if you just explain yourself. You really try, but the overlord is inconsolable. She tears you apart, and the maiden watches in silence. As you die, you can't help but think you probably deserve this. Tragic hero. Okay. Uh, reset the stage. Let's go back to the. Hmm. Um, ba 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 Okay, let's do this. Destroy the Overlord. You lunge forward, driving your blade through the evil Overlord. She screams and falls silent. The Overlord has been slain. You smile, offering the maiden your hand. She takes it after slight hesitation. She must be surprised at how strong you are. No, she's fucking traumatized. You escort the maiden home. She's oddly quiet on the trek back to the village. You must be too shy. She must be too shy to speak. My ego's so fucking big. The villagers are very pleased with what a good job you've done. Slaying the overlord and saving a hostage. They throw a huge celebration in your name. You are remembered for generations as the greatest hero the village has ever seen. A triumphant hero. Is that a bad end then? So is that the is that the bad ending? So what do I... Is that... Um... Okay, so hero, hero, under hungry. Okay, um, nah. So he's heroic, tries to kill the overlord. Let's. What if we go slaughters? Okay, well, how about we do this and then we'll let the hero take the maiden home. Should we go slaughters all the demons? Okay, let's go with possessive and maiden. Da 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 da. Okay, we'll continue that. Here, oh. You feel it? Yep, that was the gay thing. Barge the room. His clothes are. Oh, fuck. Okay. His clothes are stained by a dark liquid. It's dripping from his weapon, too. You realize it must have been demon blood. Something horrible has happened. Confused, the hero asks you what's going on. You explain the situation, reassuring him that you were never in any danger. The overlord has walked past the hero and out to the hall. She's wailing. You can only guess what kind of horrible scene he's left for her. Oh, wow. The overlord tears the hero apart in retaliation. You watch silently, unable to scream. The overlord, who you've just been getting along with so well, has killed another human right in front of you. Period. Period, sis. It's clear now that you have been deceived by her sweet words. Demons are ruthless monsters after all. The overlord approaches you now. You back yourself into a corner. Her expression is complicated. Being captured by the overlord in a horrible way like this was your destiny after all. She vows you to keep you very safe from now on. You're afraid to find out what that means, but there's one, no one left to save you. You belong to the Overlord now. Capture Maiden NB. Oh, fuck me. God damn. So, regardless, she doesn't. Okay. Let's do one more. Um. Okay, so I don't know what these are. Uh. Let's try this. Let's try this again. Let's go. Ba 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 ba. Skip. Oh shit. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Introduce. Wait. What? Oh fuck. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. You. Okay. So you feel free. Here, barge into the room. His clothes are stained by dark liquid. Yep. It must have been demon blood. Something horrible's happened. Uh, he asks you. I wasn't in any danger, you dumb bitch. 
and she's crying oh my god so he tears the unable to scream she, it's clear now you've been deceived by her sweet words the demons are with this monsters you somehow managed to surpass the overload and make it out of the blood soaked castle you never look back okay so that's the okay that's uh a okay that was way too short okay um uh i don't know what to do was this the one where okay let's go back to so maiden has five i really kind of want to okay so i don't know what the okay so maybe if i complete all these then i get that i guess question mark um tries to kill the overlord okay and then so we got dutiful heroic and tells the maiden to leave and let's go with that and then let's be the over be the overlord for a minute so blah 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 blah, blah. tell him to get back to work we'll tell him to get back to work you give him a lecture about your responsibility and not questioning obedience your servants ought to do what they're told whether they like it or not they look really happy with you oh they're really unhappy but you're sure they'll thank you for this later Entering too far from the castle tends to spell death. You dismiss the underling and lie down, and you come be over their bed. All that luxury made you want to take a nap. Fall asleep pretty quick. Just another one of your amazing talents as the overlord. Uh, knock on the door. Company. You thought that you told the underling to do their job, not drag strangers into your room. Looks like they took an unauthorized break away from the castle. You scold them, but ultimately you're a little interested in this guest, so you let, so you let them off easy. That underling's not so bad. Maiden. Oh. Okay, so she she feels bad. She she starts uh, she's having feelings. They have feelings for one another. Tell her she better go home. Uh, let's go have her go home. You love to have all the conversation in the world with your new friend, but having a human girl here would definitely cause trouble. You put on your mean face and tell her to get lost, but the maiden turns out to be very stubborn. You don't want to hurt her, but you also really want her to leave in case something bad happens. This whole situation is just asking you for trouble, you think. Against her better judgment, you let her hang out for a little while longer. You enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing stories about your kind. She expresses her surprise that demons are not all okay. She has an open mind. Instruct. This is why <laughs> This is why my village isn't isn't unharmed, because we're the fucking bad guys, I guess. Oh, she's surprised. She develops feelings. Oh, you notice the sounds of battle. A battle have started ringing through your castle halls. The maiden is getting nervous, but you reassure her that's only your underlings' rough housing. No big deal. You know it's probably a hero, but you don't want to upset the maiden by telling her that. Your army will take care of it. Oh no! What the fuck? It, it isn't loud before the hero bursts into your room. But he shouldn't have made it here. Why didn't they stop him? The hero just stands there unsure of himself. He's covered in demon blood. You, uh, as the maiden speaks to him, trying to explain the situation, move past the hero, not the door. You're not thinking clearly. Seeing your servants' bodies and pieces all strewn about, your castle's really taking it out for you. Of you. That hero did this. There's so much blood. Why? Why didn't he come for the maiden? Did he think she needed rescuing? There was no time for this hero to stay safe here. There was just never any harm meant to anyone. You were just talking to her. Why has it turned out like this? Oh, I should probably do her voice. Why has it turned out like this? You feel a sudden sharp pain through your back. <gasps> so he kills her anyway? You look down to see a blade protruding from your chest. Ah, uh, that was careless of you. So this is how you die, stabbed in the back by some cowardly hero. What a joke. You're supposed to be the ruthless one. That's right, humans can't be trusted. Not if this is what they're capable of. You should have remembered that before letting one in. You watch as the hero take the maiden's hand, leading her through the sea of corpses he left in his wake. Captured by a demon, at least she got what she came here for. You join the army in eternal slumber. God damn, slain overlord end. No, 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 no. I feel so bad, what the fuck? 
No! That is so sad, are you kidding me? What the fu- I like how it just comes back to like the more upbeat music. God damn, dude. Let's go with... Maybe we'll go with... This whole ending. Let's go... What if I go shop for a hero to come save you? Yeah, but here it is not cutting kind of human. Just put off by your sudden shouting and ask you to keep it down. You apologize. Seem more confused and hostile, which totally catches you off guard. You don't even your name and then... Okay, so... So they don't listen. They become really good friends. You are introduced to the Overlord. <laughs> the lecturing. <laughs> She's happy. Let's them off easily. Uh, this doesn't make any sense to you. Okay. Uh, if he used to leave. How would we do that? Okay. Oh my god, I, 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 I'm absolutely, I absolutely adore the gay scene. Yep. Hero suddenly dashes towards the overlord's sword drawn. Oh, what the fuck? <gasps> I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. I'm saving, I'm saving. I don't give a shit. Protector. You selflessly throw yourself in front of the hero's blade, acting as a shield. It's funny, you think. You never could have imagined this would be the way that you die. The rules are all switched around, but it feels right to you somehow. She would protect her. Oh, that's so sad. Bro, I'm gonna cry. That's actually so sad. What the fuck? You are glad your destiny turned out to be saving someone rather than being saved yourself. As your vision fades, you hope that everything turns out all right for your new friend. Oh my god. Okay, we're, okay, we're resetting. I okay. I'm sorry. I want to do one more. Let's go with. Ba 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 ba. Okay, we'll do that, and we'll go with. Um. I want to go with the Overlord. Okay. We'll grant him day off. Uh. Let her stay for a while. Okay. I my favorite scene in the whole world, and I want to redraw this. And someone should also redraw this. Why didn't they stop him? Uh, I mean, okay. Is that? You were just talking to her? As a maiden shot something behind you. <gasps> and you turn just in time to see her throw herself between you and the hero's blade. He pierces her chest and she falls to the floor, lifeless. That is so fucked up. As a pool of blood beneath her grows, so does your rage. It, this hero has taken everything from you now. You lose control, and the hero is obliterated, but your hatred for the humans has not yet been sated. You go on to destroy them all and become ruler of the entire world. Oh, nice. Girl boss shit. Vengeful overlord and A. God damn, man. My god. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, so... Knowing that I completed 14 endings out of 41, I'm gonna maybe wrap this up considering I'm running a little longer than I should. Um, yeah. So, yeah, if, you, if you're if you liking this so far, um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully stay with me along the ride. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, or night, and next time we'll complete a lot more of the endings because, oh my god, I'm... I'm actually in love with this game. This is so, this is so cool. Okay. Um, thank you so much for watching again. I'm in no way stopping you to join me. And yeah, I will hopefully see you guys in the next episode, the next video. I will probably be doing Doki Doki Literature Club next. That'll probably be my next video, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Thank you. Bye-bye.